Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about the multi-scene simulation of the collector feedback resistor type biasing. See here, from the collector, one RB resistor is fed back, this is basically feedback uh, network, this uh, resistor RB, this is uh, feeding some uh, output signal in the input, okay. So this is basically the feedback, feedback component for this case. Now, first of all, let us determine what type of feedback topology is this one. So for that, you can check my video playlist of the uh, uh, identification of different feedback topologies. I will give the description, uh, the link in the description. So let us start. The same rule we will follow. See here, we are taking the V output across here. Clear? So basically, from this node, we are taking the output voltage and this is the feedback uh, network. So the starting point of the feedback network from the output side and the positive terminal of the output voltage, that means from where we are taking the output voltage, these two points are in same node. So no doubt this is nothing but voltage sampling. And for determining the mixing network, see here, here the feedback current is uh, coming in such a way. So obviously, to determine the effect of the feedback network, we have to apply KCL. Here, we cannot apply KVL or KVL will not give us any data about the uh, signal coming from the feedback network. To determine the effect, we have to apply what? KCL in this node so that this is nothing but shunt mixing. So this is also called voltage sampling shunt mixing feedback topology or voltage shunt feedback topology. Clear? Now let us see the multi sim simulation of this network. I have already made the simulation in the OCE amplifier in multi sim. So let us discuss this. Uh, first of all, this thing you all know this is basic CE amplifier. This portion is basically voltage divider biasing. The C2 and C3 are, C3 are basically coupling capacitor. And C1 is basically bypass capacitor. Why it is called bypass capacitor? Because when we do AC analysis, then we short circuit this path. Then whole emitter current will pass through this path. No current will pass through the R2 or emitter resistor. So basically current will be bypassed by this capacitor in AC analysis. So this is called bypass capacitor. Clear? And we are applying small input signal here this is oscilloscope here this is uh, for frequency response or Bode plot okay now uh, let us determine the midband gain for this circuit see this is the Bode plot uh, as you know this is the uh, frequency response graph of an BJT of a BJT now if we uh, take the cursor in the midband gain then we can get the midband gain as 44.397 dB clear So let us write that. So basically what we are getting that is uh, mid band gain without feedback is how much? 44.397 dB. Clear? 44.397 dB. Clear? Now, this is without feedback because see there is no collector feedback resist feedback resistor is there now let us stop the simulation and we add one uh, feedback network here so from this uh, select or from all groups go to basic from basic to resistor set any resistor okay put here close this and connect this properly connected okay just make this connection now this value take as one it is as one kilo ohm so let us take this value as 300 ohm so i am taking less value to show you the effect okay of the feedback network now we already added the feedback network. Now let us check what is the mid band gain. Initially the mid band gain was 44.397 dB. So let us check the feedback gain now. See the structure is almost remain same. But see when you take the cursor in the mid band, 
the midband gain becomes 26.745 dB. So initially, without application of this collector feedback resistor, we got midband gain as 44.397 dB. But now we are getting only 26.745 dB. Why this is happening? Because we know due to application of the negative feedback, the gain reduces by a factor 1 plus A times beta, where A is the uh, open loop gain of the basic amplifier block and beta is the feedback factor okay or feedback gain so because of the gain is reduced by a factor 1 plus a beta due to application of negative feedback see it is clear from the multisim we are getting that practically we can see the result that is midband gain without feedback was 44.397 dB and by applying voltage shunt feedback topology we are getting the midband gain as 26.745 dB okay this is how uh, this type of uh, analogy you can make uh, or experiments you can make by your own in your multisim software the also uh, for your university uh, it may be as it appeared as lab experiment so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful for boosting your concepts okay please like share and comment and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you for watching